Hi, I am Gini Ana Maria, and I'm going to talk about the host galaxy and orientation differences between the different AGN types. The main purpose of this study is to investigate aspects regarding the validity of the simple AGN unification paradigm. In particular, we focus on the AGN host galaxies, which according to the UP should show no systematic differences depending on the AGN classification. For our study, we used a spectroscopic sample of Cifert 1, Cifert 2 liners composite and star forming galaxies with threads up to 0.2 from the SDSS data release 14. Our work consists of two sections. In the first section, we wish to reveal if there is any correlation between the AGN type and the Hubble type morphology of their host galaxy, and in the second, if the galactic disk contribute to the obscuration of the AGN activity. For the first part, we used subsamples of the respective galaxies up to redshift 0.1 because at higher redshifts, the structural features are difficult to discern. Additionally, in order to avoid possible evolutionary effects, we match the redshift distributions to a common fractional distribution. After having done this procedure, we plot the spirality and ellipticity probability distributions normalized to that of the star form. We note that the Cifred 1 sample have a higher probability of having an elliptical host than Cifred 2's liners and composites. These results indicate a possible coevolution scenario between the galaxies and the supermassive black holes. Also, these differences could be due to the contribution of the galactic disk in the obscuration of the AGN activity. More specific, the gas-rich disk of a spiral galaxy could absorb the broad line region, giving a rays of Cifred 2 objects. For the second part, we used only the spiral Cifred 1, Cifred 2, and star-forming galaxies up to redshift 0.2. Here, we also obtained the mass redshift and stellar mass distributions in order to exclude possible evolutionary and luminosity biases. We plot the B over A distribution of the Cifred 1 and Cifred 2 sum samples with respect to the star forming galaxies. In the left plot, we found that the distribution of the Cifred 1 is skewed towards high B over A values, indicating inclination angles close to phase on orientations. In the right plot, the distributions seem similar, but they are still statistically different. The most significant result in this case is that for B over A smaller than 0.2 and higher than 0.8, the fraction of the Cifred 2 is lower than that of the star form. In order to interpret these results, let's assume that there is a statistical co-alignment of the torus and the galactic disk. Indeed, this scenario can explain the fact that the Cifred 1 galaxies have more frequently phase on host galaxies compared to the controlled sample. However, we should correspondingly expect a higher amount of phase on host galaxies in Cifred 2 distribution. Thus, we don't have clear indications to confirm this scenario without excluding this possibility. Regarding the difference in the distributions of Cifred 2 and star forming galaxies at low B over A values, a possible explanation could be that in more age zone orientations, the dust and the gas of the disk can be sufficient to obscure both the broad line and the narrow line region. Finally, we note that the smaller fraction of Cifred 2 with respect to the star forming galaxies at high B over A values strengthens the hypothesis of a host galaxy contribution to the obscuration of the broad line region. Specifically, due to the fact that in phase on galaxies, the gas and the dust of the disk does not intervene between the observer and the active nuclei, the only obscure of the broad line region is the torus, which apparently in some cases is not sufficient to hide the broad line region, giving rise to the deficiency of type 2 in phase on galaxies. So, the main purpose of the current work was to test aspects of the simplest unification paradigm by searching for differences in the properties of the host galaxies of various AGN types. We find that 
the seafood born population appears to be more elliptical than all the other classes of the Aegean host galaxy, and that there is a possible contribution of the disk of the host galaxies in the obscuration of the central Aegean emission. Thank you so much.